All right, final ink haul, Jordan Orowski. Uh, I read through this entire trilogy, and, uh, you know, of course, this was hyped to me like none other. Wasn't super impressed overall. Um, this is probably the strongest volume, I'd say. It, it's got a very a much tighter plot than the other uh, two that I saw so far. But we'll get into that in just a second. My name is John Delarose. I'm a number one best selling author and award winning comic creator. If you like my thoughts on comics, please go check out mine in the description below. I do some sci fi stuff. It's not as out there as this. I mean, so the one thing I got to give Joe Dorowski credit for is he's just like way out there. <laughs> he just comes up with crazy stuff uh, that is really all over the map. Sometimes it's too much to me, though. And uh, I think it doesn't always serve the plot and all that. This is the last one of John DeFool, and John DeFool gets brought back to the ink all again. And basically, uh, there's this like creature who like then uh, turns all of humanity into robots. And there's a new artist on this one, uh, Le Ledron, Ledron, I don't know. Uh, and also, I like his art kind of better than the first, even even the Mobius. I know that's kind of sacrilegious to say, but it's so clean. Uh, the art's really nice in this volume, and I think that helped me enjoy it a lot more. I can't show every page because, again, like, these Euro comics have a different sensibility of nudity than the United States does, let's say. But John gets hunted down as all these robots, like the, the people turn into robots and they all turn into slaves and they're trying to hunt everybody down. Um, and then he, of course, gets his power from the Inkle and uh, these uh, uh, this group actually goes and tries to fight back uh, to kind of resave the universe. And uh, eventually everything kind of gets rewritten and he ends up with getting the girl again. Uh, here's some more. I'm just trying to make sure the art doesn't show anything weird. Towards the end... Um, he teams up with some unlikely sort of mutant kind of groups that are, uh, are helping him, uh, in order to sort of get into the main area and, and, uh, turn off the bad guy. Now it's shown that like the bad guy who was doing all this isn't exactly gone. He's, uh, whoops, he's going to go off into, uh, the evil, uh, he's going to go off into other galaxies and other times and things like that. And, and maybe, Maybe has to be faced again. It's never the end. Uh, but uh, overall, like th like I said, this is a much tighter story than the other two were. So it, it, the beats just fit a little better. It flows a little better. It's shorter than the others. Um, I really didn't like Before the Incall very much, like at all. Um, and uh, But this was pretty enjoyable. So I call this like a 8 out of 10. Good stuff. Uh, fun sci-fi. And uh, the concepts are out there and just kind of wild. Uh, you can't really read this without reading at least the Inkle, I'd say, uh, before the Inkle helps also because uh, it establishes the female uh, love interest quite a bit that uh, reappears here. Um, and so, yeah, you kind of got to read both of those before reading this. Uh, you do. <laughs> All right. Uh, leave a comment down below with what you think. Hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll be back soon.